what's up my name is tech number here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video so recently i've been developing a plugin for both chrome and firefox like i have before and it's currently being published if you're getting rust item drops it's something you should check out link in the description down below and a link to my previous project the steam card crafting assistant will also be down in the description below but self-promo aside in this video i'll be showing you how you can load unpacked extensions into both firefox and chrome if i open up the folder with my project in it you'll see i've got a chrome and firefox folder it with a JavaScript file, manifest.json, and a couple of other files. These are all files that are required for making a plugin work. And if you're curious about what they sort of look like, again, in the description down below, you'll find my previous projects. Assuming that you set up your manifest.json the correct way to get your plugin to work properly in the browser of your choice, how exactly do you go ahead and load this folder over here as a plugin inside of Chrome or Firefox? Well, to begin this video, I'll start with the Chrome version, and then I'll go into the Firefox version down here. So first of all, open up Chrome and navigate across to the Chrome extensions page or click the three dots in the top right hand corner, more tools, and then extensions. Then once in here, all we have to do is make sure that developer mode in the top right is turned on and then click load unpacked in the top left. Then navigate across into the folder with your Chrome extension inside of it and simply click select folder. After doing this, it'll appear on the list. You can click details and you see everything here. You can simply click update to update the plugin from the local files whenever you make a change there and you want it to reflect in your browser. It's now installed and working as you'd expect. There we go. So how do we do this inside of Firefox? Well, it's a little bit more difficult there, but we can still do it relatively easily. First of all, open up Firefox. At the very top, head across to about colon debugging and then hit enter. You'll find both this and the Chrome one in the description down below. Then go across to this Firefox and under the temporary extensions drop down over here, click load temporary add-on. Then navigate across to the Firefox version of your plugin and then simply double click on any file. It doesn't matter what it is. As soon as you do it, it'll detect other files inside of that folder and load up the plugin as necessary. You'll see it pop up in the top right hand corner of Firefox and it'll work exactly as you'd expect and hope. Of course, this will disappear once you restart Firefox, as I'll show you now, but the one inside of Chrome won't disappear when you do so. So just keep that in mind if you're debugging and creating a plugin, as soon as you close the browser, it'll vanish out of Firefox, but it will stay loaded in Chrome as long as you decide to have it there. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.